Hey everybody, Milo and Henry here. We're out at Dobson Ranch Golf Course today, getting ready for the Smashers On competition. Oh yeah. Under the lights. We thought it'd be really cool to shoot some video. So tonight, we have an awesome video for you talking about how to hit a stinger. Everybody loves those little low screaming stingers. Oh yeah. So. Should we always hit them though, on the golf course? No, but they're fun to hit off the tee. It's actually a really nice tee shot. If you haven't practiced it. Well, if you haven't practiced it, it's probably not mm -hmm. worth doing. But there are some little adjustments we can make, specifically setup-wise, to make that ball flight come out low, but still start on line. Sure. Right? So, Milo, you're the king of this thing, so what do you do? How do you do it? I just say, ball go low, and it ball does. Ball go low. So you finish like Tiger, finish low? A little. We talked a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, finish low. One thing I do, I might move the ball back just slightly in my stance, just slightly, okay. and my stance might open up slightly. All right, now, so, okay, ball back a hair, but stance open a hair, yeah. why? To counteract the ball being back a hair. So because that ball's a hair back, the ball's gonna have a, a tendency to wanna start a hair right. So ah, now okay. I open myself up a little bit so, so I can get that thing started online. You're saying that attack angle goes down a little more? A little which creates that path a little more right, yep. traditionally speaking, if you're on the arc. So you gotta aim a little more left to counteract that. And that's it. Okay. Any grip down maybe a little bit or? Not for me. When I'm hitting a stinger, I'm usually hitting it hard. Okay. Well, let's see one. Okay. Here we go. So the goal is, there's two palm trees out in the distance here that oh, are yeah. about, I don't know, they're probably about four or five feet apart. I'm gonna try to hit it under the palm trees, under the top of the palm trees, and shoot through the gap. <laughs> That's a pretty narrow field goal to kick, but we're going to go for it. You can make this happen on camera. I'll be impressed. Yeah, we're going for it. Here we go. That was pretty nifty. Ah! I hit the palm tree. That was pretty nifty. That was really good. <laughs> All right, I gotta give it a try. How'd you hit so straight? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I'm the Usually king of I see a stinger and I see like a little draw. I think of like Gary Woodland hitting those low draws. That's why I open up. My, well, my natural ball flight also is a little cut, right? So when I sting it, it just doesn't curve. So you blow back in a stance and then I'm trying to get my feet a little left of parallel. A little left, and then you're going to feel like you're just keeping this right wrist a little back, a little longer, and then the follow through is not going to be quite as up and around. It's going to be a little more down so and like, left. I like to think of like a tree branch right out there in front of me. And you stand down. And under I got to hit low under that. All right, let's see if I can do it. So right wrist angle. Okay. There we go. Cut. Almost straight. Okay. Oh. There we go. So you got you did really good. I get one more try at that. One more try. This time I'm going to keep it lower. I'm going to hit a draw. Close. I'm going to hit a draw this time to get it to go a little lower. Oh. What the? It hit the mat in front of me. <laughs> it was so low it hit the mat. I think he topped it. No, I didn't. I hit that pure. I'm going to try it this time with that low hook. I'm going to go with it. Okay. I'm going to roll with the hook. Just don't hit the mat right there. So I'm going to aim a little right. Still stance a little open. You can still hit a little push draw from an open stance. Oh, too much. Pretty good, though. That thing would run. So before we log off, we got to show them what a normal ball flight looks like so they can see that there was a difference between these low ones oh, and our yeah. normal. Oh yeah, good idea. So show them a normal shot. Good idea. These are four irons, by the way. So you can see they were like three times as high as the, the palm tree there. I got to hit one. 
I should just hit high. There we there go. There you go. I'm back. All right, so let's recap. Let's wrap it up. Okay, so a few keys if you're trying to take that ball flight down, hit a little stinger. You know, I'd say keep it in play. It's a hard shot still. It's not something that maybe we practice all the time, but it can be a good practice. Yeah, I like it. I actually tend to hit it straighter than my normal shot, but it's not something I hit all the time. But it's kind of an alternate tee shot for me. Just kind I, of get it in play. I usually see Milo, you hit it when it's pretty windy out. Breezy days. You know, if you go overseas, you see guys in the UK play that shot a lot. Yep. Um, obviously, Tiger played it probably the best out of anybody for years, yeah. right? Because it doesn't get up in the air, so it doesn't get offline that much if you're good at it. If yep. you're not good at it, then... It... Yeah. But, just to recap, ball back a little bit, a little open stance, and then focus on that right wrist angle. Feel like you're covering it, and don't finish so high like a full finish. Yep. You probably want to feel like you cut it off a little bit. Yep, exactly. Hope you like this. If you did, hit the subscribe. Come out here to the Dobson Ranch. And yeah, this is a sweet spot. And make sure you guys join us on My Lines Academy so we can help you with your game. Each individual is different. Let us help you on an individual basis get better at this game. Awesome.